for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the Laplace transform of a piecewise function. We are given the piecewise function f of t equal to t for t position 0 and 1, and equal to 2 for t position 1 and 3, and equal to 0 for t position and 3. In part A, we have expressed f of t in terms of unit step function. Now, in part B, we are going to find the Laplace transform of f of t. Now, to do this, let's look at what we have in, the, in part A. In part A, we have expressed f of t in terms of unit step function. That is, f of t is equal to t times u t minus u t minus 1. It's equal to 2 times u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 3. Now, you can regroup them. That means that f of t is equal to t times u t plus 2 minus t times u of t minus 1 minus 2 of times u of t minus 3. So we're going to take the Laplace transform now. So Laplace transform of f of t is equal to Laplace transform of t u t plus 2 minus t Laplace transform of u t minus 1 minus 2 Laplace transform of u t minus 3. Now to do this, we need to recall the Laplace transform of unit step function. So u of t minus c, we're going to take Laplace transform is e power minus c s over s. And you also recall the second sheet theorem. Laplace transform of f of t minus c u t minus c is equal to e power minus c s Laplace transform of f of t. We are going to use this for the first term and second term for using the sec to use the second sheet. And the uh, third term is just Laplace transform of unit step function. So let's proceed now. In order to do this, first term Laplace transform of t u t. So, you just compare with the formula Laplace transform of f t minus c u t minus c is supposed to be e power minus c s Laplace transform of f t. So, when you make the comparison, you have that c must equal to 0 now. So, f of t is equal to t now because c is equal to 0. So you can write now the answer as equal to e power minus 0 s Laplace transform of f of t with t now. And we know that e power 0 is 1. Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared. Alright. So this take care of the first term. Now let's look at the second term. The second term is Laplace transform of 2 minus t u of t minus 1. You can compare. So here c is equal to 1. And f of t minus 1 now is 2 minus t. So if you replace t minus 1 by t, so f of t in this case is equal to what now? So you have made a substitution that means that this dark black t now is a red t minus 1 therefore the red t is equal to dark t plus 1 so you can do it this way. So this is equal to f of t is 2 minus this rate t is dark t plus 1. So this will give you this is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 minus dark t now. So that means that I know the formula for ft now. So ft is 1 minus t. Alright. So ft is 1 minus t. Therefore, I can make use of the formula. Use it, second sheet formula now is e power minus s is c equal to 1. Laplace transform of ft 
f t is one minus t. And then about some sum of one, we know it's one over s. About some sum of t is one over s squared. So this is the about some sum of the second term. So I have completed the Laplace on the second term and I also completed the Laplace on the the first term now let's look at Laplace on the third term Laplace on the third term is in this case is Laplace on the of u t minus 3 and we know that Laplace on the of unit step function in this case is e power C S over S. So in this case, C is equal to 3 now. So we can copy the formula. This is equal to e power minus 3S over S. This is the part transform for the third term. So putting it together, so the part transform of FT. Okay, is equal to the plus on sum of t u t and u of t minus 1 and minus 2 the plus on sum of u t minus 3 1 over s square the second term we have found out that is equal to e power minus s 1 over s minus 1 over s square and the third term is this is minus 2 e power minus 3s over s so this will give us the Laplace on of f of t that finish the recording